So what do you think? What do I think? You know, I'm not going to be that guy, but what do you think? I want to know. It was fun. You know what? You know me. You know me. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, first uh, NBA game, it wasn't starting with Cali as the record, but it's the first one of hopefully many. And I'm glad I can get that one under my belt. Um, you, you've kind of made a name for yourself as this dunking machine in college. Were you glad to show off some other things in, in this game so that you kind of felt that you're more well on the player and not just Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Um, I, I don't think dunking would have just got me here. I feel like I had to be like somewhat of a good basketball player to get here. So whenever I have a chance to showcase my other abilities, I'll try. How much fun did you guys have overall? You talked about, you know, it was fun for you. I mean, it seemed like across the board, you guys had a lot of good stuff happening. Um. It's a lot of fun, but at the same time, like, you know what I mean? If it was up to me, I'd probably be out there laughing and joking a lot more. But uh, I'm a rookie, I'm trying to, like, fill things out. Like, if I feel like I can do a lot more laughing and playing, yeah, I'm going to do it. But for now, I'm just I'm low key. What did Ben say to you after you did um, no, he just gave me some great advice. Um, I'm not going to say everything he said, but he was just like, just continue to be myself, uh, keep having fun, and keep enjoying it, playing the game I love. So I talk about the difference between the physicality in the college game and the pro game. Um, physicality is a little bit different. Um, more people are close or much stronger. So, you know, you have to find more skilled ways to score. Uh, but I feel like for my size, uh, that's not going to be much of a big adjustment. I feel like I'll adjust very well with that. Zion, tonight you wore the Air Jordan 34s. Of course, you're going to be wearing Jordan throughout your career. How do they feel tonight? And that's something we're going to see you in all season, or are you going to switch it up? Uh, you'll probably see me in all season. I might have a few switch ups, but they felt real comfortable. Um, I feel like I was moving uh, quick. Um, I was myself out there. So how did this transition been to you personally from life at Duke under Coach K to now the grind of the NBA lifestyle? Uh, it's definitely different for sure. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's a different lifestyle. Like, you know, any moment, you know, you can get traded um, to another city, another move. Um, yeah, so like you said, the grind is different. You got to always find different ways to stay ahead of your opponent. What about that first game? Did you expect it to be as your first game, or did it kind of go to what you imagined? Uh, um, how was it different? It was, I didn't expect uh, <laughs> not that many people to come. Um, a shout out to my boys, uh, Quavo and Trouble. You know, I saw y'all in the crowd. I appreciate y'all coming. Um, but no, nah, it was, I didn't expect that much. I did what did you like about the, the pace? It seemed like you guys were able to run a ton, and I know that plays into what you do really well. Uh, you know, Coach Dentry, all he talks about is uh, a fast pace and running. So, like you said, it plays well into my game. So, whenever I have a chance to transition, I try to go. Hey, can you tell us about the first dunk over a seven foot or no less? Uh, uh, I just saw the lane open up, and she's in high school and college anymore. You got to go up strong. So, I went up strong and I was able to finish. Zion, as a fan of the Atlanta Hawks, the, the, the city would like to know on draft night when you walk by the draft table and you touch that hawk. Down. I knew somebody, I knew somebody was going to ask something. Uh, you know, I, I don't even know how to answer that question, man. You got me. Uh, just looking at all the teams, all the possibilities of like, you know, what cities I could probably go to. Cause you know, I think people look at it completely different. Like. You gotta put yourself in an 18, 19 year old kid's shoes and say, you know, whatever, whatever team gets it, it's most likely where you're going. You have no control over that. So you know, I was looking at different teams, looking at different possibilities, just to keep my mind open. Zach, how much is the coaching staff talking to you about your three point shots? Is it something that you're actively looking to work on, or is that something you're hoping to develop every time? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, you know, still working on it, and you know, the coaches. They gave me full confidence uh, to shoot the three. So I will be shooting it a lot. Um, I feel like as the season goes on, it will keep getting better and better. Zion, we've been seeing you working a lot with Coach Spoon and during practice. He's a Hall of Famer. What advice, you know, as a former WNBA player, has she given you to really help you take your game to the next level? Um, you know, just she helps me with my ball handling. And, you know, just it's the small things. Like when she tells me to be myself and have fun. It's those small things that keep me going.
Zion, how did it feel to see Cam Reddish out there? Of course, your, your Duke teammate, your brother out there on our team playing for the Atlanta Hawks. How did it feel to see him on the court? Um, it was great. Uh, you know, it was crazy. Just a few months ago, we was in college together. You know, just chilling, having fun with each other, playing in games, and now we're, we're pros. So it was a different feel for sure. But it was great seeing him. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, guys.